Meanwhile, the African Union says preparations to send the 4,000 Regional Protection Force to South Sudan are going well and soldiers could be deployed anytime soon. CCTV's Groom Chala has more. Authorities here at the African Union have spoken to admit there is indeed a delay in the regional force deployment, but they say it is due to hiccups related with court logistics and troop contribution from member states. We understand that the proposed 4,000 protection force must be contributed by member states of the Eastern Africa region on time, but that has faced problems including the withdrawal of Kenya from its commitment due to Nairobi's disappointment on UN's decision to suck the head of UNAMIS last month. Now the African Union sources say preparations are going well to sending the protection force perhaps any time before February next year. For this, they say the consent given by the South Sudanese Transitional Government of National Unity for the immediate deployment of regional protection force, including all the enablers, equipment and weapons required by the force has been key. Last week, IGAD leaders have also made important decisions and commitments to make early deployment and full operationalization of the regional protection force. So all signs seem to suggest the hope of seeing the 4,000 regional troops in South Sudan sooner than later. Analysts say, after all, the region has every reason to expedite its efforts to send the boats to South Sudan sooner than later because of the peril of conflict in the nation. Grumtala CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.